On March 7th, the John Jay Rifle Program took home the Mack Rifle Small Board Championship by defeating SUNY Plattsburgh on the campus of MIT in Cambridge, Massachusetts. It's the Bloodhound's 15th championship, which is the most in school history. We had a good core of uh, students to start with. Everybody's different, you know, um, you know, and, and anybody that had been here for two or three years under one coach, you kind of hear the same thing. As I told them in the very beginning, I said, look, we, we both want to get you to the same place. But they responded well to my my differences, my little nuances that were not the same as Vince's. And um, we ended up with a pretty good year. And it came down to the last two shooters, and they were both John Jay shooters. Senior Eliza Katoska ended her career a four-time champion and recorded a match high and personal best with a score of 549. Coach Wright would come up to me and he would tell me, like, you're, you're on your way to your best score, you can do it. He would encourage me, definitely made sure he would make me laugh because I do get very stressed when I shoot. So he was there to calm me down, my teammates were there to calm me down. And I think the mindset that I had going into this match is, again, like, this, this is it. I have to go the bang or I don't go out at all. Like this has to be my best match. And having that mindset really helped me achieve that. For Michael Hyde, he captured his third match championship with a score of 536. It kind of is just like practice because even though, you know, you want to beat your own personal best, when you're at the level that Aliza and I are at, and even as Adora now at this point, um, the, the sport really becomes very cerebral. You have the muscle memory, you know what your position is supposed to look and feel like. Um, so having that competition where, you know, Eliza, her and I teared and tottered back and forth between two or three points where, you know, she'd beat me one match and then the next match I'd beat her by only a couple of points and we would go back and forth. So being, you know, head to head against her, I think it was definitely a really cool experience and definitely something that for me as a shooter just made me want to perform even better. This championship was definitely a bit more special to me, not only because it is my final championship, but I'm the captain of the team. So it was kind of at the end, it was a result of my leadership skills with the new coach. And it definitely made up for the fact that my freshman year, I got to miss my championship, unfortunately, because one of my honors classes conflicted with the schedule. So going into this championship, I kind of had this mindset, all right, this is it. Your four years are amounting to this one day. And just getting out of that range, looking at the scoreboards, looking at my shots and thinking, all right, I have two more positions after you, one more position. If I get this score, we can do this, we can do it. It was definitely a lot more pressure, but it also felt more important because I knew this was going to this is going to be it for me.